Okay, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of uh, and a little bit more depth on uh, how to use spanner and some of the shortcuts and things. So um, here we are on a mono track. I will uh, first of all show you the possibilities with the smoothing control. Crank it all the way up and you get a good idea of how it works. It's very much like a piece of elastic between you and the pan dot. Um, option button, the option modifier on a Mac uh, does just what you expect if you option click on the dot, resets all five parameters. Um, if for example you've panned it here and you just want to reset the front rear pan fade, uh, option click on that slider, it goes to the front. Uh, it's not really in my intention that you use these sliders too much. Um, they're really just there as, as a visual heads up as to what's going on. Um, and uh, it gives you the ability to, to reset just one parameter. So in addition to that, I've, I've made some shortcuts as well that allow you to control these parameters from this pan dot. So everything should be doable from within this one window. So center percentage, for example, if you hold down the shift key, click and drag up and down, you can even see it reflected in the meters there. Center, sides. Um, the right click button does input gain. The control key and the right, control and right does LFE send and you see the meter coming up here for the LFE. Uh, I should explain as well while I'm here how this LFE send works. It's a pre-fade LFE send, LFE send but it's not particularly obvious uh, how it works. So there's an input trim here which you can turn all the way to off and that controls how much of the signal goes to the main five channel pan. So if I turn that all the way off and I turn up the LFE send, now that signal's going to the LFE only. So it's like the two completely different buses, the LFE bus and the 5.0 pan bus. So any signal can go to either or both or neither. Uh, by default, most channels don't go to the LFE and the LFE does, of course. Okay, so there's a couple more shortcuts for, for linking. Um, I don't have the little link buttons like you might be familiar with in other panners or the, the Pro Tools panner. So what I've done instead, I think is better, is a con key modifier, control key, will give you the toe in functionality and lets you pull back with those channels. Likewise, you can do the same with the uh, any of these pairs. Uh, and then once you have these a bit tighter, you might want to control option click and move those around as a group. Likewise these. And the results can be quite freaky, obviously. Once you start throwing different channels around in strange places. Um, so in terms of uh, situations when you might want to use Spanner, um, I mean it can be inserted on pretty much any track which gives you that, that great ability to just bus everything to a 5.1. Even on mono tracks it gives you advantages in that you can, you've got an LFE send that you can choose to turn on or off. Um, on wider stems such as old pre-dubs from other films or things you've reused uh, or even just a pre-dub that you want to tweak a little bit. Uh, it's great to be able to just chuck it on any any format, a 7.1, 5.1, whatever, and uh, and fix up a crook, uh, crooked pan or um, pull the surrounds down a little bit or push them forward. Or, uh, for example, a quad like this one here can often benefit from from a little bit of little bit of toe into the into the center channel. Um, or you know, having an LCR having its front image pulled back rather than just going straight to the fronts. Pull them in and back a little bit, maybe reset the center channel. Um, after a reverb is a, is, is a really obvious place to put it, um, especially with a, a great reverb like Ultraverb 7 that lets you use a create a 5.1 output from the verb itself. But then in plenty of times what you're actually doing is, is using a stereo reverb that's, that's coming out first and the third channels. Um, so in those cases you can uh, grab those left and rights, pull them back if that's what you want to do, or even for part of the scene you can move the reverb around with the character. Um, 
the options are endless.